Hello everybody, Virtual Rook here. Tell me, have you ever wanted to venture through time? Better yet, have you ever wanted to stop a nefarious plot to end our timeline as we know it? Once the cards are cut, there will be no leaving the table. Well, then the game Wanderer VR might be for you. I would like to start off by saying that I am not sponsored in any way by Oddboy or M Theory, the creators of the game, but just felt like I wanted to give a nice little review of a game that I've really enjoyed so far. And by so far, I mean I'm about three hours in, but I really wanted to talk about it. Our story begins in the year 2061 in a flooded version of Boston. You play as Asher, our protagonist, in search of their grandfather's apartment building, which he claimed you could change the course of the world if you found it. Let me just, you know, do everything. Asher, it's your grandfather. Oh. John. It actually works. That's if you're awesome. Listening to this, then no doubt I'm long gone. North. But I've done my best to leave you everything I have. It's all in an apartment in Boston's North End. It's a bad bounce, but if you look for the old water tower, then head What's west, that? you'll find Picard Street. Should be a clean shot, right to the doorstep. The west. Look for number 88. He's gonna be Top floor. Way. Keep your head on a swivel. This world is Check no picnic, but it may get a whole lot brighter if you can make it to my apartment in one piece. And what an apartment it is, full of wonders, toys, and gadgets, and puzzles as far as the eye can see. Now I won't get too deep into the story of this game because I'd rather that you went out and played it yourself. Instead I would like to go over what makes this a great game, as well as some of its shortcomings. To start, the NPCs in this game make Wanderer feel alive and interactive. For instance, Samuel, a quirky AI with a southern accent that lives inside of your watch. Help! <coughs> well, uh, hello. Uh, do I know you? Oh, uh, you'd be, uh, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm normally the picture of lucidity. I'm well overdue for a wind-up. That if this may come across a lick familiar, ah, that's more like it. Now, Asher, is it? Your grandfather left me here for you, to be your confidant of sorts. My name is Samuel. Samuel, uh, just call me Sam. His dialogue is so much fun, if not at times a little bit overwhelming. On top of that, the things that he can do are entertaining and functional. Just watch. Tap the button just below my face, will you? I'll show you a polish trick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the sacrifices I make. Now, if you ever lost a stock, just push that button and I'll do my best to offer you counsel. All right, if you could kindly place me back on your wrist. There you go, bud. Get it, because he, he's a watch. Anyway, honestly, the only time I had a problem with him was whenever I was solving a puzzle too quickly in the game. It seemed like his dialogue would cut off and start with the next line of dialogue, which made it hard to follow what was happening in that moment. Another shortcoming of Samuel is he's supposed to work as kind of a guide on what you're supposed to do next in the game. And sometimes he's a little bit too cryptic about what that was. One more time. So there's being strung out, and then there's being re-strung out. And son, we need to be re-strung. Or rather that bowl we found. If you follow my aim. I don't. This is the problem. Because, like, the best example that I have for what I think we need is that there's there's this cordage here. Where is the bowstring, Samuel? Speaking of items, there is so much to interact with in this game. There are so many items just in every single world, which does make it a little bit confusing that the developer decided to go with a upgradable singular inventory system with a very, very strict cap of how many items you could hold, instead of going with a traditional backpack or something to hold all the different things that you find throughout the many worlds of Wonderware. Resurface timepiece or upgrade storage? I would like to upgrade storage, please. 
This led to frequently having to juggle items between my hands while trying to also get my watch to send me to the proper timelines. But that doesn't change how delightful the interactions with the different items in the game are in Wanderer. Everything you see seems to have some kind of functionality, even if it's just for fun and not necessarily story driven. For instance, if you find a super soaker in the game, well, you can use the pump to charge it up and shoot a stream of water across the room. Or if you find an RC car, you can use it in every sense of the word of using an RC car. It has a reverse, it has a booster to go faster. It's really remarkable the amount of small details they put into every object in this game. It really showed a polish that I loved throughout the entirety of Wanderer. And that's definitely held up in the level design that comes with Wanderer. I've only been through a couple of levels, but going to the moon and watching objects floating through space, or at least in low gravity, and then being able to jump to a Mayan temple where I just feel lost in the jungle, and then just even down to your grandfather's apartment in Boston, just every single moment in the game felt lived in, felt real, and just really captured the essence of where you were. And the fact that you could jump between each of these levels without breaking immersion because there's really no loading screens was just wonderful. And with that, I only have a few other gripes really with Wanderer. And most of them are just bugs that I think could be fixed. For instance, uh, this moment here. I don't know you guys are chanting, but I will chant it with you. Oh. Oh. Um, game. Okay, well, we ran into a slight bug. There was no way to fix this except for to reload the entire level. And also, I really think that there should be some kind of noise or logo that pops up whenever the game is auto-saving, because there were a couple of times where I would have to stop playing the game, but whenever I came back, I wasn't where I was before. These can be very easily fixed. I hope that they do get fixed in the future. And I really do think that you're doing yourself a disservice if you decide to wander away from playing this game. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I give Wanderer a solid eight out of 10 rooks and I cannot wait to keep going and to finish this glorious story and puzzle game. For all my Catwalk C owners, I will post right here what my settings were to make my Catwalk C uh, work best for walking through Wanderer. Gotta make sure you can wander well when wandering. I wonder if that's the way I should have said that. But I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. Uh, please let me know down in the comments if you've played Wanderer, if you're planning on playing Wanderer, and just what you think of the game. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you don't mind. It really helps and I'd love to hit that 200. I'm so close. But anyways, thanks again for watching everybody. Have a good day. Bye for now.